Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to start in on episode 7. And in this episode we're going to be looking at the block break event. Now, pretty much all these videos kind of going forward, they're all going to be really short. Um, they're kind of going to get right to the point for a little while, uh, probably maybe like the next 10 or so episodes. We're going to be looking strictly at different events and what you can do with these different events. So just kind of be mindful of that. If you're watching along, just know that some of these are going to be uh, slightly repetitive as we progress through these. So first things first, let's go ahead and create a new class. We'll call this my events just because uh, we like calling it that. Once again, we got to go ahead and implement listener, not that listener, this listener. And then let's go ahead and say at event handler, public void block break, right? Is that what we did? Block break? Yeah. And we'll say block break event event. Okay. So the first thing that we'll do here, just so we can make sure that it's working and we'll say working. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll just put a system dot print out. So we know that it's working and we'll say this dot get server dot get plugin manager. Oh my God. If I can type dot register events and we'll say new my events and this, and let's just go ahead and install this. Once again, I'm using M MC dev for Minecraft. So it's going to take care of my plugin.yml and everything uh, in that sort of realm of things. So let's copy our snapshot here. Let's go over to our server. Let's put that on. I did update it. I did update it, guys. Don't worry. Let me switch over to full screen here for you. And I did reinstall Windows again because I got a new SSD. So let's do that. That's uh, doing all the worlds there. And let's just go ahead and local and local host. And let's join. Okay. So we are in game. And you can hear all the sheepy sheep going. Uh, let me just fix my controls here quick. Turn that off. Yes, I use shift to jump in Minecraft. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> okay, so if we go ahead and break this block, you can see here that it is working. So now obviously this is pretty simple and we'll probably want to do something a little bit more uh, complex than this. Oops, let's go ahead and uh, opt myself. And we'll say time set day. Okay, cool. So let's say you wanted to check to see if players are breaking certain blocks, right? So say you're making some form of anti-cheat or some simple anti-cheat on your server. Uh, we could go ahead and say, so let's go ahead and say block, block equals event dot get block. And so that's gonna get the specific block that we're breaking, but it's not gonna get anything out of it other than the fact that it's a block. I mean, this contains all of the details of the block, but you know, just follow along. <laughs> uh, and then we want to go ahead and say material, material equals block dot get type. So now we can get the actual types. So now we can check for this, right? So we can go ahead and let's just get rid of this system that out. So we can say if material dot equals material dot uh, Let's say we want to check for people breaking diamond ore. Well, let's make it easier and do grass since we have a lot more of that and we won't need to spawn it in, but you get the idea. So if it equals that, we're going to go ahead and say, and now let's make a cast of our player. So we'll go ahead and we can do it up top here. Uh, we can go ahead and say player, player equals event dot get player. And so now we can go ahead and send our player a message. Uh, let me zoom back in here for you. Player dot send message. And we'll say chat color dot green. You have broke grass. And now we could actually go ahead and put all this in here and we could have it print that out. But let's just go ahead and add this in, rebuild this. And we can see here you have broke grass. 
And now we could change this for everything. So we can actually go ahead and just completely get rid of this if statement. And oops, we want to keep the player though. Let's just get rid of this if statement. And we could say you have broke plus material. And now obviously this is going to give us a really, really ugly readout of the blocks that we're breaking. But you can see that, that it totally works and you could totally do it this way. And let's just change this to check color dot uh, yellow and let's change this to gray just for some nice differentiation. So you can see here that you have broke oak leaves and now if I go ahead and go here, that's grass. So that's actually grass. That's what we would have broke. We got rose bush, grass, and this is pretty simple, but you can sort of get the idea. And so you can check for different uh, blocks that people are breaking and you could maybe do, you know, uh, you can build yourself out like an MCMMO sort of thing. So you can say, you know, after, oh, that was really delayed. So you can say after like, you know, 20 dirt blocks, you get a uh, spelunker or something. And after 50, you know, leaves, you get a uh, harvester. You know, you can do lots and lots of things. It's, you're not really limited that much by it. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what we're going to do here in this episode. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And uh, be sure to come back next time. We're going to be looking at the block place event. And we're going to be looking at the sort of things you can do with block place events. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Be sure to join our Discord if you have any troubles here. Uh, or just join our Discord just because you want to hang out with everybody. You know, we're almost at 4K members. So we are going good. We are going strong. And see you guys next time.